How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today there's a lot of things to go over, and this is concerning Jurassic World Alive. So, out of nowhere, Ludia not only released the patch notes for update 1.9, but also a new Epic Strike Tower. So, when I'm doing this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you know about it, give my thoughts on it, and etc. And I'm also am gonna be doing the, the new Epic Strike Tower. So before I get into it, I do get mentioned that I'm still doing the special giveaway if you're new to and familiar with it. If my channel reaches 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to run and pick one winner to receive a $25 iTunes gift card. If my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to run and pick one winner to receive a $50 iTunes gift card. But if my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to run and pick one winner to receive a free copy of his/her choice Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. This special giveaway will start and will end this year. Which at that point, I'm going to count the cards in half and pick one winner to receive the highest price. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to share with your friends and family on social media. How much I go, they appreciate it. All right, so now getting back into today's video to start off with the Epic Strike Tower. If you take a look at the screen next to me. Got one right here. Now, as for the patch notes, I'm not going to go over everything in this video. If you want to read it yourself, it'll be in the description below. So basically, it talks about there's going to be a new quest thing where you, if you complete one, you get to the next chapter, you get special rewards, etc. You're you're going to be able to put mammals into sanctuaries. There's going to be bug fixes. Dinos got nerfed kind of a little bit. Like some of them got their health increased, some of them got their attack lowered, and, and vice versa. But most importantly, we're going to talk about the hybrids. So, apparent, so before I get to this, I want to show you guys the ones that's going to require it. So, in order to create Indominus Gen 2, you need Echo at level 10 and Transfers Rex Gen 2 at level 10, which kind of made no sense. And I say it because Tyrannosaurus Rex needed to be at level 15 to create Tyrannophilosaur, and now you're just making it like easier for other players who already have one in the game. And then later on when you get Indominus Gen 2 to level 15, when you combine it with Blue, you're able to make Indoraptor Gen 2. And at, as you're curious about Blue, here it is right, right here. So yeah, pretty much I am all set with blue here. I pretty much have a lot of DNA of this thing. I should have no problem with making Interraptor Gen 2. And that's not all, guys. Spinocephalosaurus, when you combine it with Carbonavis, you're able to make this hybrid, which they both need to be at level, 50, level 20, which is going to be a lot more harder. So I'm all set to go with my Spinocephalosaurus. And then you got Suchitator is going to be getting a hybrid. Now, if you're curious as to what ingredient is it going to mix with, it's going to require Marsable Lion. They both need to be at level 10. Carpet Nevis and uh, Nesutoceratops both need to be at level 15 to build a crate of uh, Carbon Ceratops. And then there's this little guy here. This one is getting a hybrid, which it needs to be at, as you see, level 15 combined with... I don't remember what it was. I forgot what it's combined with. I know it's some other dinosaurs that's pretty good. But anyways, uh, there's a lot of dinosaurs coming out. A lot of uh, hybrids coming out. So look forward to those things. Alright, so now let's get into this strike tower here. Because I know you've all been waiting for this. If you got Echo to level 10 and haven't considered grinding some more DNA of it though, then um, consider yourself lucky because I pretty much made a mistake of getting it to like higher level and also been donating a lot of DNA of it to the Alliance, so now I feel bad for it though. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad I still have the Raptor set, so I am planning to use that which is going to be off camera, but that's not going to be part of today's video. Mostly for today's video is going to be about Talking about the patch notes for 1.9 and also this new Avex Strike Tower. Now, I know a lot of you all have been really wanting Dracoceratops to get nerfed. Unfortunately, it's not. It basically stayed the same, nothing else. The war's still the same. 
So, not really something you uh, gonna look. So we're gonna deal with uh, Draco Ceridots for a little long while. Okay. Well, of course, just let me down, but I'm gonna be able to use the instant distract, instant charge, bill kill it. It's not gonna be too hard to do. We'll do this. Should be able to kill it. Yep, we got it. Should be able to kill it with this one dino here. He's got it. Yeah, I can just swap into Dragoceratops and just kill this thing. Yeah, we pretty much won. Not too hard to do, guys. And as usual, I've been saying, you don't have to use Zach Dinosaur here. Just use it as a guide towards giving you an idea of how to take it down. So basically, they're going to mostly do around slowing down your dinosaurs. Use ones that are immune, are able to do a lot of damage, and you should be good to go. And Monoguandon, I really don't mind getting more DNA of, because... Unfortunately, it's not getting a hybrid in the next update, but you either know. Ludia could surprise us later on. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need more coins, by the way. I'm hoping for Echo. That's the one I want out of here. As for the Epics, I really don't even care. Oh, also the Razor, I want Quetzal. That's all the other thing I want. Wow, we're getting some pretty bad ones here. Oh yeah, this is the one I almost forgot. This one, this one is the one that's going to combine with that... Uh, that one comment I showed you all with the uh, arena exclusive. Wow, good thing it showed up. And Baryonyx don't care. So yeah, that's pretty much all gonna cover for today's video. Now, the purpose video is such a note that the the patch notes for 1.9 is out. Told you all how to take down the strike tower. Gave my thoughts on not only this but also the patch notes and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the patch notes and also this right out here. Were you successful? What did, what did you get? Let me know. I appreciate it. Also, what are your thoughts on the new hypers and creatures that we're getting very soon? Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>